I might run out of water quite quick. We're going to interview staff and we're going to see what cool staff bikes they're riding with an added twist. Come on, Keenan. No, <laughs> you're already dribbling in water. Oh. <laughs> Hear the rules. I don't know the rules. Bear in mind, I didn't make these rules. You've got to talk about your bike for one minute, no more, no less. You stop talking, you get squirted. You go over a minute, you get squirted. So there's a little bit about bike check and a little bit about time perception. Yeah. Which are two of my favourite subjects. <laughs> Wet bike check, take one, go. Right, so starting with, come a bit closer. We'll start with from the top, ODI long neck grips, running the original Avid brake lever from 2003 or something, with the original caliper from that brake. It is a cable brake, it's not hydraulic because hydraulic is uh, not relative to the time this bike was made. It's a DMR sidekick from 1999, I believe. So it's actually older than me. Um, moving down to where I put my bum, <laughs> Berg Tech saddle uh, in Brink, 29.99. Um, they actually come yellow, but I got a bit customization y and uh, got a red Sharpie out, and now it looks orange. <laughs> to match the rest of the red on the bike. Uh, it's actually still running gears on it. It's got a downhill crank set because I snapped the other one. Um, these rims are not original. They are a DT Swiss rim uh, that cost me 16 pounds, built onto the original hubs. So, you know, real expensive build, real expensive custom build. DMR wing bars, 27 You're done. and a half. <laughs> 107. 107? That's pretty close. Go on, send someone else out. Oh, I've got, oh, I forgot the vanillas, not vanillas. The valleys, valley boys. <laughs> this is my bike, man. That's big, <laughs> <Imagine, laughs> that. Look at that. Do you measure it in hands? Yeah, yeah. 12 hands, isn't it's it? It's a big one. He's a big one. You ready? No. <laughs> right. On, Wet bike check, big Joe, go. It's my uh, 2018 uh, Transition Sentinel. It's uh, blue. As you can see, uh, quite a long reach, a 500 mil reach on this one. 64 degree head angle of a 78 point to five head uh, seat angle on it, I think. Uh, 240 mil drop post, lots of height for extra length, length on there for me. 50 mil stem, 29 in front and rear, one by 12, 28 tooth chain ring to get my fat ass up the hills. Works brilliantly. Two front tyres uh, for maximum grip in the loam over the winter. Pretty basic build, uh, nice brakes, Shimano throughout. Uh, Olin's coil fork uh, with an extra firm spring works better for being a bit bigger. X2 shock because it's a good shock in it, bounces up down. And a little tool on the bottom here. Uh, Hope rear hub, Shimano front hub, and uh, that's about it in a minute. I'll give you that. I'll give you that. You're not getting squirted. You're not getting squirted. You're, you're, you're closest to a minute, so I'll give you that. Well, oh yeah, so you're at a disadvantage, you've got less components to talk about, but you're missing except missing parts of your bike, but you've got an extra foot accessory to talk about. Yeah. I didn't talk a lot. Steve Sims, wet bike check, go. Have they got to be finished? So here's my specialised Levo S5. This is grey with black decals, black crank, black tyres, love those black tyres. And on top of it, I've got a dive bro uh, protection kit. This is a frame protection kit in Guadalupe in color. I have not seen this before. It covers the top tube, this bit of tube here. This tube here doesn't cover that tube because it's already got rubber protection on it. It covers this tube here and this tube here. So pretty much protection all around. I haven't had a bike covered like that ever. But actually have the last one that's covered like that anyway. But it's also got Bergtech bar and stem combo on. Sensus grips, sensual, I think that's why it's called Sensus. Uh, it's got Hope Tech B4 brakes with the green brake pads in. They are insane power. <laughs> so they really stop you really well. It's got clips on it, but I can't ride it at the moment because my clip shoe doesn't fit it. I injured that foot with this bike. So this bike is fantastic for twisting your feet off. It's got... No, you've got no! <laughs> <laughs> Ready? I can 
continuously talk. So yeah. This is about this bicycle. I'm sure you can do that. Look at go. it. Go. You ready? Go. Three, two, one. Wet bike check. Stevie T, go. Uh, Santa Cruz Bronny V4, the mullet one. Um, I've got a 36. Well, it's a bomber with a grip two in it. So I wanted the techers that the Fox Fork gives. But the colour of the Mazoki fork because I wanted it to look wild and different. It's bird tech everything, chain ring, pedals, uh, bar and stem, top cap, bolt, axles, both ends, red in the fork. Um, and it's SRAM as well, so X01, uh, the old Guide Ultimate, the carbon levers and the tie hardware. Um, all silver nuts and bolts, all silver bolts as well. Again, bit of a colour, colour theme, colour haul there. Uh, race face carbon 6C cranks, 165, nice and short. Again, because mullet bike and playful. And it's, yeah, it's a, it's a bike park jib bike, but pedals really well too. Love it. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it! 51. You could have got a few more facts oh, in there. I could have mentioned could have the talked about one up seat post. The grip. The you could have talked about off brand ODI grips. The, the Rocks Zochi shock. Oh yeah, we didn't oh, yeah, mention the, the fact that I got Zochi. I got bored with the mismatch suspension, yeah. so I put a sticker on. You could and then sticker off. About... Right, who's next? Well done. <laughs> What's your name? Right, Will Gal, wet bike check. Three, two, one, go, go. Uh, this is my epic. It's an epic, so it's running 100 mil rear travel with the brain auto lockout thing. Bigger fork, 110, 35 mil thingy. Drivetrain full XTR. Um, that's a 38 chainring with a 51 cassette. Um, and then a little MRP chain device, which is cool. Brakes are Hope XCR, so the lightweight two pot ones. And then XTR Shimano disc 160, 180. Uh, Richie bar and stem, 25 degree, 90 mil, 680 whip. One piece carbon saddle, DT Swiss dropper, 60 mil travel. Uh, Michelin tires, Jet Force, Cush rear. Uh, Richie grips, and yeah, the, 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 what else can I say? It's green. Done. It's got a theme tune. Oh, and it's got a theme tune. As who sung it? Is it Stormzy? XC boy, XC boy, XC boy. My name's XC boy. <laughs> XC boy. Are you finished? Yeah. What was that? You don't get squirted. What? Is that a minute? You just off a minute. Even with the song. Are you can. Yeah, you're closer than you. Within five seconds, gets gets you not wet. Good. Hello, Daz. Hello, Matt. Welcome to Wet Bike Checks. You've got one minute to tell me as much as you can about your bike. If you go over a minute, you get wet. If you stop talking, you get wet. Oh, no. And you've got to gauge when a minute is. When a minute is. You ready? Yeah. That's Wet Bike Check. Go. Go. So, this is my Mega Tower CC. Um, it has Fox 38 Kushima on the front, it has a Push Industries rear shock. Uh, I have Unike 165 cranks on there with a mallet with mallet E mallet E crank uh, Crank Brothers pedals. There's a lot of pressure with that water there. <laughs> uh, specialized power saddle, Birdtech 38 mil rise bars, SRAM drivetrain, Max's tires, and I think that's about a minute. Ah, <laughs> oh, I didn't get him. I got your bike wet though. How, what, what that is not a minute. There, yeah, so there's a lot of pressure when you're stood there like that. <laughs> well um, done, Daz. You I think that was open. You've everything. completed the wet bike check. Perfect. Oh, one last time. Ready? Three, two, one. Wet bike check, go. We've got Michelin Wild Enduro tyres, they're brace line. Uh, you've got a front and a rear, so you've got either way. Uh, X01 cassette, XS X01, mock off valves. We've got Odin's TTX Air, King Creek E Wing Cranks, they're titanium, they're great. We've got Gusset Pedals, Gusset Saddle, Pin Double Drop Post, Bars, they're really bad, don't buy them. Uh, you've got Gusset Stem, you've got Odin's Fork, you've got Vapor Racing Products, Mudguard, and you've got Hope Brakes, you've got Tiny Brake on the rear, Big Brake on the front, they're E4s, they're really good, they've got race line pads, and it's got Orange Stem, Bolt thing, and it's got little orange bits everywhere. Flipping great, got a shim tune in the rear, it's amazing. Done. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Toby. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 43 seconds, not quite right. 
Yeah, how the tables have turned. How do I unlock it? How do you unlock it? Oh yeah, you're not an iPhone user, are you? you don't understand how to be a normal person. There what you did go. you just do there? Huh? <laughs> I just unlocked the phone. No, what, no, what do I do? We're out here filming one minute bike <laughs> one minute bike checks with Matt Clark, who's gonna do it in one minute. Tell them that oh you gotta fit in the funny story about this bike as well. <laughs> I've got to sing a song and tell the a funny story. A funny story. Yeah, you know that. You know that story. <laughs> I don't know the funny story. Only Mark's guess. Let's go. Right, this is my bike. It is a specialised Levo carbon with a few cheeky upgrades on it. We've gone with the Race Face Arc 31 carbon rims on DT Swiss 240 hubs with the, uh, the clicky, the clicky ratchet in it, which makes an awesome noise. I've also got the Push 11.6 coil shock on there. That is absolutely brilliant. Paired with an awesome Fox 38 with the Grip 2 damper. Really, really good for it. The same wheel on the front. Hope Tech 4 brakes. These are absolutely fantastic. And I've got 2.3 mil thick Hope rotors on there. 220 mil front and a 200 rear. So really good, really, really good braking power. I've got Bergtec carbon bars, Bergtec stem. Bergtech soft grips, I really like those. And then XT finishing gear bits. And that's my bike. Ooh. Oh. Fail! <laughs> 57 seconds. Oh, I got the best. I won. Oh, you're not meant to get oh, wet. I shouldn't have got wet. Oh, no, I told the rules. Oh. I thought you got wet the end of Well, there's no rules, really. No, the funny story is that was my bike. Because I built the wrong bike. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I forgot. I, I should have just told. I should have well. just told the story <laughs> that that of, of when you built my bike up, thinking it was your bike, and then I came in on my weekend to find my bike wasn't not, there, not there, and then yours was in a box. Yeah. That was one minute wet bike checks. All the staff did it. I essentially won. I got closest to a minute. Uh, Will sang a song, Steve told a funny story, and uh, hopefully we can come back soon with more staff bike checks. I knew that was going to happen. And we overlaid different animals. <laughs> Peeing on his face. That was me.